Hey folks, uh, Damon at Black Warrior Lewis. I want to give a shout out to Steve Douglas over on uh, Monster Rod Holders. And you can check out his channel. I'll put a link there in the, in the comments or whatever. And uh, he came up with this cool thing uh, about how to make a catfish gauge or a fishing gauge. It's basically a homemade barometer. And uh, he uses just a mason jar and a long necked uh, bottle. And both of them are glass, some water and some food coloring. And it's amazing, if you look at that, I'm not sure I can get that level on there. If you look at that, and we may need to have that a little bit lower, we may need to get a bigger jar here, but the thing is, is this will measure the air atmospheric pressure, barometric pressure here. And the idea is if the our water's way up in the neck of the bottle here, you're gonna have a bad day of fishing. The closer it is to the level of the surface of the water here, you're gonna have a better day, a good day of fishing. And somewhere in between is, well, somewhere in between, fair real simple little thing and I said I just gotta try this you know and and you know figure you know try this and use it in conjunction with you know like uh, like the uh, fishing log that I have on my computer and you can just log that there go fishing see what your catch was see what your catch rate was and how much pound of meat and then just log it you can have some real data I mean here's a real scientific instrument you can use and so and so, all, again, all you need is a mason jar, glass thingy, glass long neck bottle. All I had was the Starbucks thing. I don't even like coffee, but I just got it because of the bottle because it's kind of hard to find glass bottles these days, you know. But, but anyway, if you can find anything like that, and you put it in there, and I had it inside the house, and I brought it out, and it's actually already changing now that I'm outside here. Um, so, uh, and so that, that's what we're going to do. So you can use red food coloring. Uh, I found that the food coloring was actually a lot more expensive than I thought it would be, like $2.50, and this is sort of the Wally World brand or whatever. You don't have to get anything fancy. If you already have some food coloring, use whatever you have. I used red. Uh, I didn't really, I don't ever use food coloring. So I bought that, and that's what it is. A few drops in it, and as you can see, we got a lot of, it's cold out here, and, that, and we just had a big, a cold front moved through and, and it has brought temperatures way down and you know that heavy air cold air is heavy and it sinks and, there, and that, therefore it pushes that it pushes the uh, water down here and that in, in turn pushes the water up higher inside the neck of the thing if a big warm front were to come through basically the opposite would happen it would it would it would shrink so so it's kind of amazing to look at that to see the difference there and uh, to denote that change and so there's a little bit of home home brew you know fifth grade type science is to apply to your fishing doesn't cost you much use whatever bottle you have here find your glass bottle get you some food coloring and go for it and uh, there you go uh, go check out Steve's uh, channel subscribe to it it's an awesome channel a lot of good tips on drifting especially for drifting for big blue catfish and uh, Damon at Black Warrior Lures I will check you guys later Bye.